Yeah, hi everyone. So this is the second video in our series. So let's see this question from digital electronics that is based on sequential circuits. Okay, so this question has already been asked in gate 2018 question paper and most of you have already solved this problem. But just watch the video till the end, you will get to learn a lot of new things and you will realize why did I pick this question. Okay, so let's understand the question first and let's understand what do we mean by this kind of data? Like why do we show the waveform like this sometimes? Here you can see from 1 to 0, 1 to 0 it is going, then 0 to 1 is, it is also going. What is the real meaning of this? Let's understand that. Okay. So, let's read the question first. There is a D flip-flop given. There is positive clock as, uh, this is positive as D flip-flop and uh, there is a data input, then it is going to the XOR gate. Okay. And uh, we have the clock waveform, we have the data waveform. Now, read this line. The probability of uh, if the probability of input data transition in each clock period is 0 0.3. Now, let's understand the meaning here. Okay. Now, data is shown something like this. Right. Data is shown something like this. What do we mean by that? Look, this D input is coming from some previous stage. From some previous stage, a user is giving some D input. Okay. So, that input can be anything. It can be 0, 1, then it can be 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, it's not necessary that first it will be 1, then it will be 0 only, then it will be 1, then it will be 0 only. It can be one of the possible case. Okay? But it's not necessary that it can be, first it will be 1, then it will can be, it will be 0, then it can be 1, then it will be 0, then it can be 1. Or, first it will be 0, then it can be 1, then it will be 0, then it will be 1. So, it can be one of the case. Okay, but it's not necessary that this will be the case only. Okay, it's not necessary. Are you getting my point? It can be one of the case. So, it can happen that first you will have one, first you will have one, then again you will have one. First you are having one, then again you are having one. Then happens, then it can happen that you will be having zero. Then it can happen you will be having one. Then it can happen again you are having one. So, that's why data is shown like this, like this. First one waveform, then one waveform. So, first you can have any value, 0 or 1. Then again you can have any value, 0 or 1. Then again you can have any value, 0 or 1. Again you can have any value, 0 or 1. Okay? Now, what is the meaning of this line? The probability of inter input data bit transition is in each clock period is 0 0.3. That means, let's assume first I am having 1. Then in the next cycle, I will be having 0. There is, there is, is 0.3 30% chance of this okay probability is 0.3 that means if in the first cycle i am having one then there is 0.3 or 30% chances that in the next state you are having zero input data transition that means the data is changing so the data will change there is 30% chance and there is 0.7% chance that one will remain as it is or you can think if in the previous cycle i am having zero then there is only 30% chance that it will be 1. Only 30% chance. 70% chance is there is that it will be 0 only. Are you, are you understanding the problem now? First we, mm, first, we understood the meaning of showing the waveform like this. Okay, going down like this. And then we understood the meaning of this line. That means, what do we actually mean by data transition? So, data transition, probability of data tra transition is 0 0.3. That means, the change will be, there is 30% chance that there will be change. There is 30%, there is 70% chance that there will be, there will be no change. So, I hope you have understood the meaning now. Now, it is a very easy problem. Now, this is a positive edge clock D flip-flop and this ratio is given delta T by T clock. That means, data is leading by 0 0.515 second, you can say. Like, if T clock is 1 second, that means data is leading by 0 0.15 second. Okay. So, this is the case, this is the diagram given and you have to find the value of x and at x we can have two outputs, 0 or 1. 1 means 3.3 volt and 0 means 0 volt. It is given that output 3.3 volt for logic high and 0 volt for logic low. That means if you are having output as 1, that means it will be 3.3 volt. If you are having output as 0, that means it will be 0 volt. So, have you understood a complete problem? A, clo a clock is given, a data is coming. You don't know what is the data. It's not necessary the data will be 101010 or 010101. You don't know the data. Okay. But the thing is that 
probability of data transition is 0.3 percent like if i am having one there is 30 percent chances that in the next cycle i will be having zero if i am having zero here there is 30 percent chances that in the next cycle i will be having one okay so this is the scene now you will have some output here and this input data and this output that we are getting here will go into this XOR gate and you will have some x value and that you need to find okay the average value you need to find okay the average value in volts of the voltage at node x okay so that we need to find let's find that first let's just see the basic property of d flip flop if you already know the basic property of d flip flop just skip two three minutes okay it will take me around one or two minutes only to tell the basic property of d flip flop so what is the next state equation of d flip flop next state equation that is q plus is equals to d that means it will be q plus equals to d in that means at positive edge it will sample the whatever data it will it will see at positive edge it will sample whatever the data it will see let's assume this is your clock okay and this is your data this is your data so at positive edge what what does it see one so let's assume initially there was nothing at the output this will be your output okay this will be your this is your clock and this is your d in okay so at positive edge what does it see one so it will sample one only okay it will remain one only till next stage come so at next stage it will see again see what is the input zero okay it will be zero only now at next edge next positive edge now at next positive it will remain zero only till next positive edge. At next po positive edge, it see what is the input. Okay, one. It's like the edge is like a slap. Okay, the edge, the edge, the positive edge is like a slap. Let's assume previously it was sleeping at zero. Now positive edge coming, that means it will give a slap. If it gives a slap, it will see okay what is the data one. Okay, I am sampling one. Now it will remain one one only. It will sleep now again. Again it is sleeping one 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 one. Again it will give a slap. Again, it will see. Okay, it's zero. Okay, I will give zero. Again, it it has slept. So it is sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Again, it will give one more slap. It will see the data is one. So it will give you one. And again, it will see. Then again, one more slap. Again, it will see the data. Again, it will sample the data. So this is the property of D flip flop. Okay. And for data trans transmission, we always use D flip flop. Okay. And currently, I am working on this as well. So I know this. Okay. So this is the property, basic property. So now let's see the question. Let's first calculate the output y. Okay. Now we will see how. Now you see how do I calculate the output y? Uh, what is given? Data. Data bit transition probability. Data bit transition probability is given. That is 0.3. Okay. So now what do uh, what i will do is that i will assume that data bit transition probability is one what i will do i will assume that data bit transition probability is one so this was my clock this was my clock right now my data will come i will assume that initially my data is one initially my data is one now there is 100 percent chance that the data transition will be there so that means from 1 to 100 percent chances is there that i am going to 0 100 percent chances is there now again data will change here now there is 100 percent chances is that i am going from 0 to 1 this is i am assuming okay then i will calculate my final output and then i will uh, multiply the output with 0 0.3 because in actual the data transition rate is 0 0.3 not 100 percent but here I am assuming it is 100%. Okay. So what I am assuming? Assuming data bit transition is 100%. So from 1 to I will certainly go to 0. Then I will go to 1. Why this, this is there? This thing? The slope is there. Why the slope is there? Why it is not like this? Because it has some delay from from going one to zero. It will take some time. So it has some delay. Okay. And it also has some delay from zero to one. It will take some time. 
so this shows the delay okay and in the clock there is no delay from 0 to 1 it will go immediately in no time it is 0 in no time it will be 1 in no time it will be 0 in no time it will be 1 okay yeah so now tell me what will be my output y so at output y first you can assume anything output y first you can assume anything the out y can be 0 as well or 1 1 as well so i am assuming first my output is 0 now a slab will come it will see the data or oh, data is 1 so it will give me 1 and it will remain 1 until the next slab comes now again the slab will come it will see okay 0 so it will give me 0 it will remain 0 until the next slab comes so now again slab will come it will see 1 so it will give me 1 it will give me 1 until the next slab comes forget about the next slab okay so this is my y what will be now what is my x <coughs> so what is my x x is d in xor with y so d in xor with y this is my x what is the property of xor gate if data is same it will give you 0 if data is different it will give you 1 1 xor 0 1 0 xor 1 1 1 xor 1 0 0 xor 0 1 if the input of xor gate is same it will give you 0 if input of xor gate is different it will give you 1 this is the property of xor gate right well and good let's make the final output now so what is the uh like what was this this was the in. so what is the input of xor gate that is d in and y so initially the inputs are different then it will give us initially 1 and 0 that means it will give you 1 then for this much of time what is this uh, how many time how much time is that this time is delta t you can see here this much time is delta t so this much time is delta t okay this much time this much time is delta t delta t okay yeah so positive uh, now what is the scene one and one will give you one only Sorry, 1 and 1 will give you 0. Sorry, sorry. Look, 1 and 0 will give you 1. Then 1 and 1 will give you 0. Then 0 and 1 will give you 1. This is 0. This is 1. Right? Now, 0 and 0 will give you 0 and 0. That will give you 0 only did i say the opposite when the data is same your output will be 0 when the data is different your output will be 1 that is the same in xor gate when your input is same your output will be 0 when your input is different your output will be 1 so here your output was different 1 and 0 so you are getting 1 here your output is same 1 1 so you are getting 0 here your output is different that means you are getting 1 in the next case your your output is same that means you will be getting 0 xor 0 will be 0 only right 0 xor 0 will be 0 only now 1 xor 0 will be 1 only now 1 xor 1 will be 0 only. So, this is how it will go. Right? And this is 0, this is xor 1, so this will be 1. So, now, this is the complete time period, right? Because this cycle is being repeated. This cycle is being re repeated, right? This cycle is being repeated. So, average value at output x, average value at output x, 
that will be considering 100% data bit transition considering 100% data bit transition okay so 0 into delta t 0 into delta t plus 1 into t minus delta t plus 1 into t minus delta t that means 3.3 .3 into t minus delta t right because 1 is represented by 3.3 .3. it is giving in the it is given in the question right so plus 3.3 .3 into t minus delta t upon t right so it will be 3.3 .3 into 1 minus delta t by t so delta t by t is 0 0.15 so it would be 3.3 .3 into 0 0.85 okay so this is my output at x considering 100% uh, data bit transition but given that given that data transition is 30% data bit transition is 30% transition is 30% so my final output at x would be 3.3 .3 into 0 0.85 into 0 0.3 so you can solve this value and you will get the final output let me solve it so after solving we are getting 0 0.8145 volt so did you understand the complete question what was the question given cloak was there data was there okay the data transition was there the probability of data transition was 0 0.3 only not 100 percent so if you are having one in the next cycle you will be having zero only 30 percent chance and if the same data uh, the having the same data there is 70 percent chance okay so from one to zero one to zero okay so first we, we saw the working of d flip flop then we assumed that there is 100 percent data tra transition here we assumed this was our assumption that there is 100% data bit transition okay so how our data will look like 10 10 0 1 0 you can also assume 0 1 0 1 0 1 you will have the same answer okay you can assume 0 1 0 1 0 1 or 1 0 1 0 you will get the same answer only okay so at y we calculated what will be our y first 0 then at positive edge you will have 1 then again at positive edge you will have 0 then again at positive edge you will have 1 okay then we uh, then both of the input was given to the the this uh, xor gate okay what is the property of xor gate if the input is same it will give you zero if the input is different it will give you one okay so zero zero will give you zero only one one will give you zero only zero one will give you one and one zero will give you one okay so initially one zero will give me one then here you don't need to think about this this cycle right because this will not come in final answer so it can be anything it can be one hour as well it can be zero as well okay it can be anything yeah so from here it is oh, here everything is starting so one one will give me zero zero one will give me one one zero zero will give me zero one zero will give me one 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 will give me zero zero one will give will give me one so this cycle is being repeated so i calculated the average value of this then average value i, I got was this but data transition we assumed 100% but given is 30%. So, we multiplied it with 0 0.3. So, this was our final answer. So, I hope you have understood a lot of new things in this question. So, if you found this video helpful, please try to share it with your friends and I will bring more and more questions. And you can let me uh, know in the comment section from which topic you particularly want question from my side. And please do share this your, with your friends or your own in Telegram group anywhere you share so that it reaches the maximum aspirants. Okay. Thank you.